Okay, we're live. Nice. So I had a really good call with Clover today. Um, we're going to start putting out videos every couple days. Um, the idea is to get a bunch of sound bites from me and intermingle those into a really nice video. The next video he releases probably be tomorrow, and it's going to be mostly me talking. Uh, just giving bullish sound bites uh, to the ecosystem, basically. Um, we're kind of going to try to do something a little different with this next video, uh, where we're going to incorporate some AI imagery and uh, kind of like have like a thing where like Richard Hart is sitting in a throne and I'm sitting in a throne and we're just kind of sitting there having a conversation back and forth. Oh, that's and, uh, yeah, and we're I'm going to kind of help Clover with some of the branding and some of the thumbnails and, and titles and things like that. So we can try to get a little more engagement um, on those videos and increase the metrics. That oh, sounds really good. Yeah, I think your, your sound bites are gold. Man. Like you should be putting in sprinkle them here and there for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I've got the ability to add some energy into those and, and kind of get people excited. Um, but yeah, I think that'll help. So we're going to start putting those out every couple of days. Um, the collabs we're going to keep working on. We're going to keep banging that drum. Uh, we're going to make a really comprehensive list of every group or platform in Pulse Chain that we could basically go after and really start to network and just add. We're, we're going to be looking to add at least five collaborations a week going forward. And, uh, it, you know, if we do that, it's really just a matter of time uh, before we get in front of, you know, a really large group, um, you know, like Nine Inch or Teddy Bear or something like that, a Tropa, you know, whatever. And, I mean, this thing, it just blows sky high because pretty much all of our tokens are very low supply. And, and as seen in the chat today, you know, people are starting to wake up to the phenomenon that Grow is going to pump uh, right along with any price action up or down of 4WMM. Uh, it'll pump even more on sales, actually. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a lot of people are holding that token, and they're not they're not budging with their grow. You know, they're not selling their grow. So I, I think grow is going to become something that becomes a standout in the ecosystem, uh, surprisingly. I mean, we've got these two really bullish coins in GBTC and 4WMM, but people are going to start waking up to the, you know, the possibilities with grow. I mean, it's only 150,000 tokens, and yeah. most, yeah, you know, we we're holding most of those. You know, yeah. we're not selling. So, so a gift from Richard Hart himself, and I was just looking. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Said, Thank you so much, and, and like 73 percent of all the to grow is burnt already. So for yeah. a protocol token already non mintable, so we got like right. 100, 150, 60,000, I think max. So. Yeah, and I mean, when we first um, added the liquidity for Grow uh, last summer, and we kind of did some testing with it, um, many of the people who actually had any residual uh, Grow from Ethereum that got copied over, they went ahead and dumped. So we got all those guys out of the way already, you know? <laughs> they thought there was this freebie. I remember this freebie they cast yeah. out. and. The like, yeah. They didn't give us a chance to uh, yeah produce anything, but yeah. I mean, we fun. added like I don't know, we added like ten thousand dollars in liquidity, and like you had a bunch of people dump right away, like it was some kind of you know smorgasbord, like you know like it, that was going to be it. Uh, but meanwhile, we're just getting you out of the mix, you know, preparing for bigger things. Oh, that's really bullish. I'm so glad. Uh, yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like we got one other member in here. Uh, do we want to, or a couple others? Yeah, yeah. Do we want to open up the? Do we want to open up the? I think they should be able uh, to. Uh, they should be able mics? to press the mic and speak. Whoever just they don't have to put up. Yeah. Mic. If anybody wants to talk, go ahead and uh, unmute your mic and jump in anytime. If you have questions or comments. Just want to say hello. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. If you just want to say hello, that works too. Okay, well, nobody's jumping in, so we'll just continue. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's the plan. Keep networking. Um, you know, keep adding eyeballs and users because um, that's really all we need. I mean, we've got the tokenomics. We've got amazing. I mean, four WM is just an, an amazing coin. You know, uh, reflects four different tokens. Uh, all of the tokens it reflects are bullish. Pulse is at the bottom of the chart. So if you stack your pulse, I mean, that's that's likely going to be going up. Um, you know, I, I think Richard's going to win this lawsuit or maybe get fined or, you know, 
I, he's not he's not going to have anything real serious happen to him. You know, he hasn't done anything criminal. Nobody that's been charged with anything like this has gone to jail. I mean, he he launched tokens. That's all he did. And they're not securities. <laughs> they don't pass the Howie test, so so they're not securities. So yeah, he's going to yeah. prevail in this. He's going to prevail, um, or he's going to get a slap on the wrist, and we continue on. And this thing is going to absolutely yeah. go like a house on fire. Our tokens are going to absolutely just, uh, it's going to be mind, mind numbing what's going to happen. Yeah, I don't even think he's even going to get a slap on the wrist because they're going after like everybody. I was reading today, they're going after Kraken, they're going after like uh, Stupid. Sure. Like, so. <laughs> they yeah. want to ban I mean, they, crypto. <laughs> they don't like crypto. I mean, we, yeah. we get it. News alert. You don't like crypto. We get it. You know, you want top down control. We don't want that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, and it's just, just not going to work. Um, they're going to have to do something really drastic, like crash the economy or whatever. Uh, to try to usher in their CBDCs that nobody wants. Um, and, you know, I just, I, I don't know. It's going to have to be something a lot more drastic than suing random, uh, you know, devs or whatever. So uh, I don't see that going anywhere. Um, I see Pulse Chain blasting off at some point. We're poised like no other to reap the benefits from that. I mean, look at look at what we've done so far. Um, you know, and with with no advertising, no really eyeballs on us to this point, and you know we're already, you know we're already taking off like no other, and we're starting to really get some eyeballs on us, and some big players are really starting to take notice. So the timing couldn't be any better, in my view, honestly, because just like everybody, like I'm in a lot of these talks and chats, and everything, it's just like. So the timing for like for us, like popping these green dildos and and yeah. uh, you know, and come and see what's all about. I mean, nobody's dumping here, and uh, I think people are waiting for a dump so they can get back in, but they give up and just buy at a high price anyways. I mean, you wait a couple more days and be a thousand dollars. So uh, that's right, and that's what we're seeing, and that's what's going to happen for WMM. Nobody's selling it uh, because the, the benefits of holding it far outweigh way selling it. You know, it's not a swing trade coin. Um, you know, just sit back and hold, get your dividends, you know, sit back and hold them. You never have to sell them. You can just sell a little bit of your pulse or whatever. And just, uh, honestly, I so yeah. So we have some more audience members coming in. That's awesome. Marty, uh, flying peach, uh, Reddit bites and Riz, what's going on? You guys, uh, just open up your mic, say hello, whoever wants to speak. Go ahead. Uh, it's, they're only going to go up in yeah. value and, you know, uh, yeah. the coins start to pay. I think my internet cut out there for a minute. Can you no, hear me? no, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, uh, well, absolutely. So you said early. You said earlier that. Uh, I mean, you. I'm sorry. You were asking before, but I was. I was pissing, you know, while driving, so I couldn't really <laughs> open the mic. But, but anyway, uh, yeah, I drive a truck. That's why uh, most of the shit I learn is just by listening and asking questions. Because I really I don't have time to study to. Uh, you know, read all all the documents. You know, and anyway, yeah. I'm just like driving nonstop. So that's why, like that's for example, I learned about thing, liquid yeah. loans, and you know, like back in the day when there was sacrifice, because the chat was always open, and that's how I got to know the protocol. But anyway, so uh, you said something earlier that uh, mm, like people are starting to wake up, uh, and I looked at the chart because actually, like two days ago, I think on the weekend. Uh, I was looking with this kid uh, at like different on um, tools and he's like, "What is that?" I'm like, "It was like I've seen that before." And then we looked, and the child is like, "It's got some history." So how come me following a tropa and all that? I didn't know anything about you guys. Well, I had to, we had I had to buy the top again. Yeah. Well, see, we launched last summer in the middle of the bear market. Um, right, shortly after Pulse launched, uh, we launched uh, uh, GBTC first and, and then 4WMM. 4WMM, we actually launched in partnership with this, with this other group. Um, and they ended up being basically being a bunch of DGENs that just, you know, wanted to dump everything. And uh, it was middle of the bear market. Everybody was selling everything down to nothing, just scraps. And it just really wasn't good timing honestly. And, and and then the lawsuit came in and, you know, everything was kind of, you know, wasn't looking good. So, uh, we basically, you know, let everyone sell down to nothing. Um, I ended up, uh, you know, the partner that we launched with, he got half, half of the, uh, coins. I got half, the rest went to the LPs. So, 
you know, he was desperate at the time. So I ended up buying all his 4WMM for pennies on the dollar. I think I paid $1,000 for like 300 4WMM from him. And, and basically just secured all that and, you know, got him out of the picture. And then we just went ahead and waited another like five, six months, let everybody else sell down to like $3. And then, you know, while we were just strategically planning our next moves, because we always had the uh, leveraging platform in mind to build. We just, we knew that that wasn't the time to do it. So, you know, kicked back, got our ducks in a row, um, added the, added some, started adding some decent liquidity like a month ago. Um, and then, you know, started working on the leveraging platform again. And, you know, here we are. So now we've put in a really, really solid floor um, of OG holders and, and people that are, you know, really serious about what we're doing and excited about it. And nobody's looking to sell. So, I mean, we've, we've created the perfect floor for this coin. You know, I only got one token because I'm fucking out of PLS. I put it into other, all kinds of shit that's, you know, some of it is doing okay. Obviously, a tropa and die. But, uh, uh, I, I don't know, man. I'm just fucking bummed out a little bit because well, actually I saw it, you know, which was like probably under a hundred bucks was starting to go up, but I just spent pretty much the last of my PLS. I just got a little bit left for gas, you know, so maybe I need to pull out of the other LPs and get me another one. Well, I saw but, a guy in the farmer's <laughs> chat yesterday talking about how uh, he missed the boat and he should have bought 4MM earlier or 4WMM earlier and all this other stuff. Uh, I think the price was, you know, three something. <laughs> and people were like, dude, you're not too late. Look at the market cap. And here we are today. It's almost $500. So, I mean, every single day, it's probably going to be the same thing. People are going to be going, oh, my God, it's so high. I missed it. Next day, it's going to be even higher. So it's like you, you just, you're just going to have to bite the bullet and just buy because I, I don't see this thing coming down anytime soon. Even if it does, that's going to be crazy dividends. Uh, so that makes the coin even more bullish, in my opinion, volatility. But I just don't, I don't know how much volatility down we're going to really see. Yeah, I mean, I, I just read like a little, that little thing on Dex, it was a Dex screener or something. And I'm like, uh, fucking Atropa, die. Gr can you, can you talk more about Grow? Because I, I, sure. I, I, yeah. I, I know yeah, nothing so about Grow. It. Grow is our flagship token. Uh, we actually launched on Ethereum in 2020. We were a very large platform. I think we got up to, I don't remember exactly what the market cap. It was between 30 and 60 million at our highest point. So, uh, you know, we were, we were rolling really strong in 2020 on Ethereum and, uh, we ended up getting hacked. Um, grow was like $200 a coin. So, we, you know, we, we went to launch this new platform and the developer missed a line of code. We ended up getting hacked and basically it, it dumped to nothing. And so we spent the next couple of years building, but, but grow on pulse chain is, was the original grow, grow token from Ethereum when we launched in 2020. So only 150,000 coins got copied over. So very, very limited supply. So it's, PLC, holding, so it's PLC 20 then, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's P grow, you know? Uh, so uh, we're holding, I don't know, like at least 60, 70% of the coins and, and we're not selling, you know? So uh, most of the coins are, 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 are with us. So, so that coin, that's a very bullish coin that I think a lot of people are overlooking because it's going to pump right along with 4WMM and possibly pump higher because in, in, in relation to 4WMM because it's benefiting from every buy and every sell and every sell even more so because of that high tax. So that coin is getting bought around the clock and you have all these hodlers and OGs in our ecosystem from, you know, 2019, 2020, they've been with us the whole time. These guys are serious, man. They're, they're stacking their grow. So that, that's a really good coin that I think a lot of people are overlooking. I saw a big buy today. It seems like people are waking up to it, but but yeah, that's a great coin to hold. Will there be anything we can use uh, this coin with, like some? Uh, yeah, we're gonna have we're, we're gonna have staking for grow. Absolutely, uh, we're probably gonna have a VDC virtual deposit contract, uh, which we already have for GBTC, by the way. So what that is is just a. You know, it's a deposit contract where you deposit, it has a fee for depositing, it has a fee for withdrawing. However, those fees go to paying you once you're staked in there. Uh, so once you're staked, yeah, you eat the fees in, but then you're earning from everybody else's staking and unstaking fees while you're in there. Nice. Um, any other questions?
any any future plans for uh, for WMM? Uh, yes. So, are you familiar with our leveraging platform that we're building? Nope. So that's that's the main uh, component of our ecosystem that we're developing right now. Uh, that is going to be a P token or copy token only leveraging platform. So it you know you're going to have you know PWBTC, PDI, PLUSD, you know PMaker, um, PPAXG, whatever you can think of that has enough liquidity or it's an interesting coin, uh, it'll be able to be leverage traded on there. Uh, longed, shorted, uh, you know, p people can get liquidated. Um, those profits are going to be in PDI, and you'll be able to stake your 4WMM on that leveraging platform to get a cut of those liquidation fees. So not only will you be getting those liquidation fees, you'll also be getting your reflections uh, that come along, uh, you know, with just holding the coin. But doesn't it usually work like if you stake, put it in some uh, smart contract, something like that, that you don't get the rewards if you put it in another contract? Uh, no, you get the rewards just just like our VDC right now. You get the rewards. You know, you're getting if you stake your GBTC right now in our in our staking that's live now, you get you get GBTC and WBTC. Wow. Yeah, right. so you'll get you'll get all four of those uh, reward tokens that 4WMM already emits, and you'll get P extra PDI from the liquidations uh, profits from that exchange. Damn. And and we haven't done any marketing really. I mean, right, we're just now starting to do some collaborations, you know, yeah. like we did with Pulse Only Fans today and PDRIP. Uh, but but there's really been no marketing. I mean, we've had a couple of really small YouTubers make videos, but nobody really knows about us yet. I mean, we're still really ridiculously small. Um, you know, 700 members uh, for for tokenomics like these with this kind of potential is pretty insane. Pretty so insane. I mean, everybody that everybody that's here now is really lucky um, that they got in and, th and that they're here, basically. Well, yeah, yeah. Khalid said, I saw a video, said, even if you got one, you're, you're in pretty good shape, So, but I mean, I'd like to get a little bit more. Yeah, man. I mean, there's only 869 tokens. <laughs> you know, there's going to be a, a point where it, be, it hits a fever pitch and people go, holy cow, um, I got to get as many of these as possible. And you're going to have some, you're going to probably have some big whales come splashing. And, you know, you're going to see some twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 buys and then it's going to get real. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to jump in. A lot of good questions there, but uh, you guys missed it before uh, you all came in. Uh, maybe Ghost want to cover uh, what the plans are for the coming uh, couple of weeks or whatever. But uh, you're going to be you want to be buying it now if you want to be really that yeah. stuff you said earlier. Yeah, so Thanks. we're going to start dropping regular videos. You're going to see three or four videos a week. Uh, we're going to continue with. Uh, we still have to get uh, four WMM listed on CoinGecko. Uh, that's taken a while for some reason. We may have to switch to a different listing coordinator for that. But um, the plan is after CoinGecko, CMC for all three tokens. And then we've got a couple of possible sex listings, XT Exchange and um, L Bank. Uh, and then we're probably going to put add some liquidity on 9inch. Uh, we're just going to keep expanding and, and increasing our reach as much as possible. And yes, you were saying there might be some more, more collaborations in the works and, and more regular yeah. uh, YouTube. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to be seeking at least four to five collaborations a week. So we're, we're developing a master list of pretty much every worthwhile platform on Pulse Chain. And we're just going to keep continuing to go down and, and you know, seeing who we can get on board. And, of course, working um, any type of associations that any of the collaborations we're currently working with have. So we can basically just expand out on whoever they know. And really just keep networking this thing uh, one platform at a time. Hey, uh, history of you guys with, uh, and Maria, by chance? This is the last question. I'll let you get. Not, not yet, but we're working towards that. Um, you know, Atropa is a very big uh, fish, and we can nail them down and kind of get them. If we can partner with them, I mean, this. <laughs> I mean, you guys are never gonna have to work again. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awesome, go! Awesome. All right, guys. Hey, this yes. is uh, Marty. I have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, so, 
you had mentioned um, about um, grow the grow was hacked on Ethereum. Is that right? Yes. Well, yeah, what okay. happened? I'll tell you what happened with that. We we were going to uh, launch at the time. Ave was a really big deal, and yeah. rebasing tokens were like a big deal. So, oh, yeah. what what we were launching was something called R Ave. Mm -hmm. So that w it was going to be a rebasing to token based on Ave. Yeah. So um, we, the la on launch day, uh, for whatever reason, our develop our developer is really good. Uh, the guy that does our smart contracts, he's got a PhD from Yale in computer science, and he mm -hmm. actually taught Solidity uh, at the college. I mean, the guy is amazing, but anybody can make a mistake. Oh, and yeah. this guy, he missed one line of code that allowed this exploit to happen in this in these Rave farms we were going to launch, and somebody was able to siphon off, you know, like. 40 yeah. percent of the uh, 40 percent of the grow that we added in there and at the time that was a big deal i mean it's millions of dollars for sure so they i mean i was sitting there looking at the computer screen and i saw grow at 240 dollars during the launch and all of a sudden boom it, it just like started going down 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 down. oh yeah <laughs> we, 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 it, know we know that one we know that one yeah yeah. Went down to like twenty bucks right in front of my face in like three minutes. So, yeah. um, you know, we had to we had to shelve that platform and kind of go back to the drawing board. But sure. they didn't actually hack Grow; they hacked Rave, which they okay. stole Grow that, and dumped it. Yeah, that, that was actually going to be my follow up question in relation. Uh, so, yeah, that was going to be a qu so. Is there a chance? I guess would be my question that that the the exploit would have. Would no, be no. On yeah, okay, no, okay, that's no, what. no. Okay. All they did was steal grow and dump it, so uh -huh. it had nothing actually to do with grow or the code or anything like that. I got you, okay, yeah, okay, yep. Um, so, so, then, um, flash I have a couple other questions. Um, so in relation to uh, to the four WMM token, are you guys uh, so that that token is is original to Pulse Chain, correct? You, yes, we, yeah, okay. we created that token, yep, okay, nice. Um so the leverage trading uh, platform is projected to be ready at the end of the month. Is that right? Uh, we're hoping end of the month. It might be a little bit longer. Um, there's a lot of um, uh, pieces that we're having to develop from scratch for Pulse Chain because mm -hmm. Pulse Chain doesn't have a lot of the tools that they have, like you know, on Ethereum or, or BNB even. Yeah. Uh, like Graph and and mm -hmm. you know they don't have Chainlink and you know like we're having to build our own oracles basically. Oh, so yeah. there's a lot there's a lot more involved in this than meets the eye. Uh, but, but yeah, and, and really security is going to be paramount for us. Uh, mm -hmm. we might even want to get, you know, more than one audit, um, and those take time. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. So, I mean, uh, releasing a quality product is, is really our number one priority on that. Yeah. I guess, I guess my, I guess my, uh, my next, it's not really a concern as much as like an observation. It's like, um, so, um, Let's say the the leverage trading platform isn't ready quite on schedule. So, for example, you would want to maybe have uh, not contingency plans, but like you're like you're already doing, making uh, partnerships, right? And th things to keep things to keep people interested. Because I've noticed, I mean, over the years, I've noticed that like things like um, you know, like rebase tokens. I remember all that shit, uh, and these this is, these are much better, you know. Obviously. Oh yeah, but but yeah. but the but. Um, you know, the fear is kind of similar in the sense that, like, if somebody sees a token as as uh, just uh, just a reward token, then then, well, then they can then they can lose interest qu quickly. You know what I mean? So, uh, I, I I think I think that might be possible with some other tokens. I don't really see that with 4WMM or GBTC because they're they're based on tokens that in and of themselves are are have this narrative that they're going to peg. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, so just just holding GB, just holding PWBTC or holding PDI, you're bullish. Oh if yeah, you're no, rewards. Sure. If you're getting rewards in those, you're bullish. You're even more bullish because you're getting it for free, essentially. Oh no, so yeah, it's almost it's almost like 4WMM is its own platform with the, the coin itself. I mean, we could have launched that coin in it. I mean, it's look at what it's doing right now. I'm, a lot of people that are in here in the chat don't even know about the leveraging platform that we're building. They don't even yeah. know that that's like the sentinel piece to this whole oh, puzzle. Man. You, and, you know, you know, the, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. You, well, like I said, you know, what I had to fuck it, excuse my language, but what I had to do to find, just to find this shit was, was a pain in the ass. I, Cause like, here's sure. the deal, like, like I've been, so I come in, I come in it, at times in the, in the crypto space, I've noticed that, uh, 
every once in a while, I have to fucking if I want to find something that I that I really want to find, like an actual gem. That I, sometimes I have to s- search the depths of Ether Scan or Pulse Scan or whatever, and just go one by one, you know, go by one by one. Then I look right. for liqui- look for liquidity and all this shit. And that's how that's how I found that's how I found this one, you know. And luckily, I found it like just a couple days before you guys really started taking off. So it's like, it's like, yeah, I, I <laughs> your timing was perfect. Yeah. Oh, I mean, to your, to your point, yeah, we, to your point, we haven't really started any type of advertising. Yeah. Um, you know, we're literally just in the last week or so, just starting to push the collaboration angle. Mm-hmm. So, um, once we get closer and I have a more f- firm date of the actual leveraging platform, then yeah. we can really start to put some actual funds into marketing you know, for yeah, good yeah. old fashioned actual marketing. So, um, none of that started yet. Um, yeah, you're, you're super lucky. Your timing was amazing. Yeah, just, um, yeah, if, I may, if I may interject, I was just going to say, just think of it that, like you're saying, it's, it's their own platform. This, this coin is actually, it's his own platform. Yes. I, yeah. Val, Val concern is you're pointing out like, yeah, it's going to peter out and it might drop down and two, 300, but I can see this like, uh, the blink of an eye, this be a $2,000 coin and anybody selling, they're selling like ten percent, so that's like two hundred dollars in dip. So uh, right. you can, uh, yeah, you can, right. you can worry about that or worry about like missing the boat. I think, I think, oh no, I think, I think more more formal right here than than uh, oh, I, I wish I had it sooner. I think, I think you are pretty early. I grew all pretty early. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I, mean, I get thinking. a little bit of that, but I do, I do understand. I mean, I, I just uh, like in my in my opinion, you know, I, I mean, I could see. Yeah, especially if the lever- leverage platform is launched and everything, this thing could this thing could be sitting at twenty thousand dollars, you know, easily. Could be sitting at, sitting at thirty thousand, easy. Yeah, we were just talking about the market cap today. 10, I mean, our market cap, million. right? Our market cap when we had grow on Ethereum was you know like fifty fifty million. So yeah. if if you you know if you look at the price right now uh, for WMM, it's right, just under five hundred dollars. Um, you know, you're looking at a, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollar for WMM at 50 million market cap. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, yeah. I mean, this, and, and do, do you imagine what, what the, what kind of eyeballs we're going to have on us at that point? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. so, I mean, there's no other coin besides Bitcoin that's any approaching that kind of value. So. No, I, I know. Yeah. No, you guys, uh, no, I definitely like what I see. I just say, uh, you got, I, I, you know, I, I've been in. In crypto for about six years and so i've i've been through all kinds of shit man and yeah. uh and i really well that's one I mean, it's one really but, good thing about us i've actually been in since 20 summer 2017 yeah. and actually developing since like 2019 so we have a lot of experience with that sort of thing as well yeah. um knowing when to push and when not to push you know like mm-hmm. i said during the bear market we kind of laid low and didn't oh, yeah. do much, and kind of we kind of let things kind of happen as they needed to happen for, sure. um, for the ultimate success of everything. But right now, you know, we know we know we need to push hard, and you know, leverage pr- platform or not, we're going to keep pushing all these angles uh, as oh, yeah. much as possible. Yeah, that's so what I mean. like like it's not. It's, I mean, it, yeah, like like it's it's you know, it's like ninety nine percent marketing almost in crypto. You know, sure. So like so like yeah, even if the leverage platform for some reason was behind, I mean. It's it as far as long as you know their priorities are in the right places. It's not going to affect anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, absolutely. I mean, there's yeah. so many bullish things that can happen for us right now. We have Pulse could pump, uh, WBTC could pump, PDI could pump. Um, you know, uh, our coin continues pumping. Uh, our leverage platform comes out. I mean, there, there's just a lot of different things that can happen. All we need is one whale to come in and and oh, sure. really hit this thing hard, and you're, you're going to see FOMO like you've never seen before. I'm mean, getting I, I know some people that are. I know some people that are kind of waiting in the wings. And they're 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 looking at it, but they just haven't quite jumped in yet. You know. Okay. Some big players or what? What I consider to be, I mean, okay, definitely, okay. definitely would, uh, definitely would move shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, w- when you start seeing guys like Ray just come in the chat, I mean, he's he's pretty, he's got a lot of influence, you know. Yeah, uh, he's been around for a while. You start seeing those guys just casually pop in with no prompting, then you know you're starting to make moves. And yeah. with us, I mean, we don't sit back on our laurels. We see that we see that as a reason to push harder. You know, oh, yeah. because we're we're starting to make progress, and when you I start mean, to make progress, that's I put the pedal to the metal. You know, 
Yeah, how I how I the first way I tell when a project is getting bullish is when I is when I start getting DMs to help for help when they when right. they want to help when they, when they want. <laughs> yeah when I when I have when I have four or five ghosts lurking around oh, you know no. you you're starting to get bullish because they're yeah, coming out of the woodwork. It was you that I that I, that I told I was going to go back in time and and you know right yeah yeah. <laughs> So, no, I, so I just, I just, but that's all I got for now. I just, uh, I just wanted to say what's up, and uh, right. yeah, it's looking good, man. I'm glad to be here. And uh, thanks for being part of the ecosystem, man. Thanks for everybody listening, being part of the ecosystem. Uh, you're in a good place, and you're here at the right time. All right, sounds good. Yeah, hey, you guys have a good, you guys got you guys have a good evening. I got I got to feed the kid. <laughs> okay, thanks. Take care, yeah, buddy. <laughs> So, anybody else wanted to jump in and uh, say hello? The floor is open. What's your assessment on these on these on these uh, early uh, protocols that launched on Boston, you know, like Liquid Laws and Power City? What do you guys make of? Them? Uh, you know, I I don't know. I mean, it just your personal opinion. Uh, remains to be seen, you know, um, I don't want to, you know, talk bad about any other platforms or anything like that. Um, you know, everything evolves on its own time. I'm kind of biased, obviously, because I, I really like our products and, and our tokenomics, but you know, I hope they do well. I hope they do well because all, you know, rising tide lifts all boats. So, um, yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of sad. Wrecks all the boats. <laughs> yeah, that's a sad that some of them uh, don't make it. That's uh, actually what I was going to say. Some, like yeah, I remember the, the last uh, last year we had a lot of them launch and then fail. So uh, unfortunately, that's sure. that's also the case. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. No, I just yeah, I just wanted to add a couple of points. Uh, some of it said that uh, Tropa and just regarding some of the stuff that Ghost mentioned earlier. As we're going forward with the marketing and trying to team up with more teams. So I'll just think of uh, we had one partnership maybe once a week, and they burn some of the supply of the 4WMM. I mean, those are the kind of tokenomics that that's going to go into my second point. Those are the kind of tokenomics that like the Atropa group is, is interested in, like low supply. Uh, yeah, so that, I just let me just pop in real quick because you just reminded me of something. You know, them burning that LP, they just burned uh, 20 something 4WMM. <laughs> today. Exactly. Yeah, so, so now that, yeah, it's, it's not eight. Yeah. It's not eight sixty nine anymore. It's like eight forty. It's like eight thirty something. As that happens, <laughs> so, go, as that goes forward, these numbers are going to make no sense at all. If you missed the three fifty entry or five hundred entry, like in the like uh, like uh, four, you know, four four figure or a bigger, you know. So that's the point I'm yeah. trying to make. Is like the token yeah, is of, solid on this. So. They are. And one other point that I wanted to add that I forgot to add is on the leveraging platform, when you stake your 4WMM, uh, there will be a small fee for staking and unstaking. That will be 100% burnt. So that, that will cause 4WMM to be deflationary at that point as well. And honestly, if I was a, a Tropa token, which I mean, I follow them. I don't. I really like what they're doing for the, for the chain. I, I really enjoy it. And, and but uh, what I'm trying to say is that if they had a product like we were going, we're going to be having, or all the people who hold PDI or all these copies and they want to do something with them, we're going to offer them that uh, opportunity. So I mean, the sky is uh, is wide open for, for what we got, and, and uh, perfect time for us to get eyes on on the project. And uh, what a what a good way to do that with, with some nice green candles and nice. Uh, to, to my view, one of the best tokenomics we've ever had. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we've been doing this for like almost five years, and this is these are the best tokenomics I think I've ever seen in the ecosystem. We did have a coin on iOS T blockchain called PowerMine, and that one did absolutely amazing. Um, but I think this is better. I think this is better. So, uh, yeah, it's it's absolutely mind blowing to think where this can be at. Uh, in a relatively short period of time. Uh, I'm just really excited to be here um, at this time with all of you. And, and uh, er I wake up every day energized and re ready to go. So uh, I'm never tired. I'm just like, let's go, because this, this is exciting to me. I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it to help make everyone else successful, because the more people that I make successful, the more successful I'm going to be. So, um, 
yeah, thank you all. Thank you so much for stopping by, everybody and girls. We're going to have be doing having these uh, voice chats regularly, and and yep. appreciate your your uh, your participation and uh, sharing the light. And we look forward to having you on again, buddy. And, and one uh, last thing. Started. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, one last thing. We got a we got a new video dropping tomorrow by Clover. Uh, it's going to be mostly just me talking. Actually, uh, we're going to have like an AI animation of me talking on there, uh, talking to Richard Hart. And we're going to really try to appeal to the Pulse Chain, wider Pulse Chain audience with this video and see if we can get the metrics up and get a lot more views. So that should be very interesting. Tune in for that. Uh, very well. Even the higher stake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, you guys. I got to run, but we'll yep, talk soon. Thank you. Uh, bye. Thank you all. And see you all again next time. Closing it? Yep. So I guess I gotta pull up my USDL from LP and dump it in the... Uh, oh, did you want to talk jump? some more? Did you want to talk some more? <laughs> no, no, I just like... I'm just fucking blown away, man. It's like... I think I saw it maybe a week ago or, or something. I saw the chart was going up and I'm like, ah, oh, I, don't, I don't know what the hell it is, you know, whatever. It probably it'll probably dump, and then again, like in like I said, some few days a uh, few days ago, uh, I was looking with uh, this kid. You know, he's also into it. Uh, he's just like, oh shit, what the hell is this for? It's like, yeah, I saw it, but it's it was probably like way below hundred bucks, maybe fifty bucks, like a week ago, or I'm not sure. And I'm like, and I started reading on it, I was like, holy fuck. So I just got one because that's what I could afford at the time. But I gotta, I gotta pull out of the other pools or something, and maybe I'll get me one more at least. Anyway, thanks for uh, shining yeah. light on this thing, and hopefully we can talk more here. Oh, absolutely, buddy. That's a good point you made that you're not able to uh, set up the computer, and uh, we're gonna try to have these voice chats for you at least, and people like yourself that are on the road or whatever. And I'll try to make a recording of it and make it available for. Uh, you can listen to it later on or, or share it. So Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes even if you read, something is unclear and you know, somebody can ask a question, you know, just to clarify, you know, some point that you that, that you made or whatever. Absolutely. So it's good to Yeah. You know. Everyone so anyway, I appreciate that and we'll talk we'll talk later. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. I I'll, I'll be here for answer any questions and I'll try to make it as clear as possible. Thank you all for stopping by. I'm just going to end the video now, and, and we'll talk later. See you in chat.